everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel for like part two of my Bujo <laughs> series. Um, I'm going to talk about tips and tricks today and I just wanted to show my face real fast before we do the drop down mode. So let me know if y'all have any questions about any of the tips or let me know about your tips down below. Thank y'all for checking out these videos and let me know if you want more of these bullet journal videos in the future. I do plan on making a writer one, how to track your stories in a bullet journal, and I'm going to coincide that with the story structure that I am creating that's combining a lot of things like Save the Cat, Romancing the Beat, the four act structure, and things like that, and I'm really excited about it. I hope that it's helpful for you, and I was going to do a lessons one all on its own, but I think I put it in with my beginner's journal, so go check that video out if you haven't already. All right guys, let's look down at my tips and tricks. Okay, so some tips and tricks that I'm going to go through are, um, so I liked having this um, tester page in the back and I know a lot of people suggest that as well um, as just like a tester for pins page back here. And you can even like do your grid lines. Um, I wrote down here like that this is two inches and that um, how many dots something is versus like how many dots I have fully on each page. So it's not like the full grid thing, but I think it works for me. Tiffany Turlop over on Instagram shared that she uses a lot of sticky notes. So I went ahead and grabbed some of those. That way you can write down all your ideas and things that are in your head and um, you don't end up like making your page messy with scratch outs and things like that. You can go back in and write what actually happened that day. And um, it's just a better system for keeping it prettier if that is your goal versus just like functional. <laughs> um, my tip is to buy the washi tape that um, doesn't pull up like this. Buy the kind that sticks to itself because then it's not going to unravel. I've had to tape the heck out of this now so that it doesn't unravel. And I bought three different sizes uh, just to test out and have fun with, and it's just stuff that caught my eye. Uh, JJ Otis over on Instagram also shared that she loves her washi tape and her stickers, and that she uses days of the week to uh, write in, instead of writing herself. So I have these stickers, which I really love. This is the side hustle for Agenda 52, and I just think that they're so pretty. They're perfect for what I'm working on. It's the side hustle one, and I love of all of the tablets, the laptop, the journals, the planners, um, the coffees. Like, I think this one's just perfect. I love this one. And then I got more notepads or uh, sticky notes because they were just super cute and in my same like tone I was going for. My tip for you too is to figure out which uh, size journal you want. So all three of these are different sizes and um, I wanted the bigger one so I had more of a spread. After I do this year, maybe I'll realize that, hey, this smaller one would have done the trick and I could have spread out my whole week instead of doing it all on one page. Um, this one, I really like this. I thought I would like. I hate that the um, little strap kind of bends your corners, but like it is what it is, I guess. It just seems more uh, professional, which I like uh, for my stories. So this is where I'll be writing. And um, a tip I saw was putting washi tape on the side so that you can find your place really easily when you're on the side of yours. I also saw where people like cut out notches and things like that to keep track. I don't think I'm gonna be going that far, but I will want to put washi tape on each of my projects that I'll be doing. I love what Emily does in hers. So she keeps track of time spent on a task. So if I were to go into mine, and I put down um, that I was writing. Maybe I wrote from two to four or something. And that way I could just see how long it takes me to complete certain tasks. And that way I know for the future, once like I'm on contract or whatever, how long something might take me. Um, she does this so that she knows projected plans for her self-publishing, which I think is really cool. Um, I definitely advise using a ruler and I'm one of those people I do not use the pencil and then write because I just don't have the patience for that. Um, 
I did mess up up here. I love, if you mess up, just uh, go over it or make, put a sticker down, put some tape down. You could do white out. You can do what I did in the beginning of this one and put um, some scrapbook paper down. Test all of your like letters out somewhere else or do pencil if you would like to keep it prettier. I saw on, um, Heart Breathings, she had all of her stickers, like she had loose stickers and she put them in a photo album, which I thought was really cool. I am going to be getting a binder ring, I think. Right now I have all of my um, like clips and things and this is where my sticky notes go and my stickers and then all my washi tape in this bag. And I saw someone had where they just do a binder ring and um, put them all together. So I thought that was pretty neat. I might look into that um, if it's big enough, but some of these are like giant, so I don't really know. I just watched um, Heart Breathings, <laughs> she stores her washi tape as well. And so far, I'm putting a lot of my pens in this bag right here. It's where I had everything until I got too much of stuff. But I also have one of those organizers from Michaels. And um, let me see if I can get it real fast. I got it for all of my scrapbooking supplies. And it's like this monstrosity that has like hooks on the side where I could put washi tape it has these drawers which I've just put like sticky notes inside and different things like that I think that side has like I could put things in there but it's interesting it does I was gonna get rid of it but I was like I guess you have some use so yeah I have a lot more markers than pins over there I wanted to just keep the ones I use in my bag but I'm too indecisive and want like all of them. So <laughs> I also heard that it's best to store pens sideways. So I think in my bag, these will do better in there versus sitting in that organizer. And then how um, I showed y'all in the video over this was just organizing your tasks by different colors. So that way when you're doing them, you know what's personal, what's for work, what's for social media, etc. And um, it's easier to track to see, oh, this is what I have going on that day. And I also, in Emily Bourne's videos, she went over doing her characters that way. So if she was writing her POVs, um, really her stories are named after her characters. But if I was going into here and I was writing about a story and I had three... Um, characters that I was going to make cereals out of, I might make them three different colors and maybe even put that color washi tape on the side so I knew which uh, book that person belonged to. And then some lessons learned that I shared in the other video, and I'll just share the, a little bit of them again, are just to um, don't like spend a ton of money. I got these pens that people said were like they fray or they don't look good or whatever and I've been fine with them. I like the brush tip and um, the fine point. I got everything on sale half off at Hobby Lobby and if it's not half off like these weren't I used a 40% coupon and still got them for two dollars you know what I mean like don't go crazy when you're just beginning but kind of try to figure out what you want in the beginning before you go and just buy things or do things. Like I showed you, I was doing test page after test page to see what um, I wanted to do. That really helped me out so that I wasn't making a ton of mistakes in how I wanted my layout to go. Like had I done this one and was like, oh, I hate that. Even though I just shared in my last one, I'm not in love with this, but I'm gonna try it out for January and see how it goes. And then um, February has a more open spread, but if I like what January was, I might do grids over here as well. I've just never plotted like this before or planned like this. My old planner was this one, and it's where I actually really love it. It's um, blank up to you and then to-dos on one side, and I thought that was really nice but I just never went in it, <laughs> I never planned. I have a to-do for the monthly spread and honestly I just kept track of like UBAM stuff and that was it. And I was like, I, I'm not even utilizing this. All of this is filled up with bullet journal ideas. <laughs> so 
And then my last tip I shared in that other one was pay attention and don't watch shows like I do or else you'll mess up on your grids and things. But let me know what y'all's tips are and um, any lessons learned that you have, tips or tricks, and I will give y'all a shout out on Instagram as well. Um, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and uh, that you'll stick around for the others. The next one I'm coming up with is my story structure and we're gonna take a nab at this book um, outlining one of my stories and see um, how to plot that in a book drafting revising and editing and I'm also gonna come out with a series for notion it's like Trello on crack and so I'm going to be going through what my notion board looks like for my stories it's gonna have the story structure and just like a ton of good stuff in there so I'm really really excited to show you guys that and yeah I just have a lot of good things coming and I'm excited to do posts of these some bulk photos for Instagram as well so if you also post spreads either on YouTube or Instagram let me know that too so I can go check them out thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next time cheers